The debate over Kentucky's minimum wage headed to the state capitol this morning. A House committee heard arguments for and against raising it. As WKYT's Mark Barber shows us, while supporters argue it will benefit thousands of workers, others say it might actually hurt them. Should minimum wage workers in Kentucky get a raise? That's a question that lawmakers have debated for years in Frankfurt. It's an old issue, but this is a new year, so the House Speaker is now making a new push for a wage hike. House Speaker Greg Stumboat testified before the Labor and Industry Committee this morning about his desire to see House Bill 278 become law. The bill would raise the state's minimum wage from $7.25 an hour to $10.10 an hour by July 2018. Stumbo says a wage hike is in the best interest of the tens of thousands of people who are working hard but barely making ends meet. It's just an attempt really to bring some equity to uh, the people who are stuck at the bottom of our socioeconomic scale. Lexington and Louisville have already raised the minimum wage within their cities. Those who are against such a hike worry it would hurt customers as well as businesses and their employees. They may reduce benefits for their employees. Uh, some business owners will be forced to raise their prices, reduce services, or replace jobs with automation. This is not the first time that this has become a hot button issue. Every time Democrats have tried to pass a bill that would raise a minimum wage, Republicans have blocked it. Republicans, by the way, still control the Senate. In Frankfurt, Mark Barber, WKYT. If the bill is passed, Dumbo says it would benefit single mothers more than anyone else. He estimates they would earn an extra $2,000 a year.